everybody, how are you all today? We've got a couple of things to talk about today. We have got the Rode uh, Go Wireless Mic 2. Two. <laughs> yeah, two fingers, two. <laughs> um, we have field tested that today uh, to see what it's like. Now, the reason being is we're field testing this because any motor vloggers that vlog, no, when you get off the bike, you've got to hook something up because the GoPro isn't exactly, um, the audio in it isn't real good. So if you get off your bike, if you're a moto vlogger and you get off your bike and you have a walk around like Kim and I do, this is the ideal thing. Especially if you've seen in some of our videos, when I get, when we're tracking um, up at different spots around, like Tassie, and, for instance, over in the mainland, if Kim gets away from me, it's very hard to hear her. You can hear me fine, because I've got the camera in the mic coming outside the camera, but you can't hear her properly. So we're field testing the Go Wireless, the Rode Go Wireless 2. Why is it the Wireless 2? Because it has two transmitters to the one receiver. So we'll just open up, that's the package that comes in. Nice little um, soft carry pouch for you to carry around. And in there, you've got, what have you got? You've got one, two transmitters. So that's them there. Two transmitters and one receiver, which goes on top of the GoPro to receive the audio from them. Also, you've got three little furry things to go on top of the road. Now these ones here are better, they stay on, they really do stay on, they clip in better than the original wireless, uh, road wireless go. So you won't have no problems with it. A nice little cord which they've redesigned, it's a more flexible cord and it stays in the position. Not like the old springy cord they had. And three leads. So that, that's the setup there. Kim and I will have one of those each on us, and then that on top of the GoPro. Just before we go into some clips, I'll just tell you a couple of little things about it. Now, the Rode Wireless 2, they will last up to seven hours of battery in them. So, if you're off the bike walking around for seven hours, tell you what, if it's me and Kim, call a fucking ambulance, because <laughs> there's no way we're doing that for seven hours. So, there's plenty of talk time on it. They will pick up, up to 200 meters line of sight. Now I've tested them around, I've tested them out around home here, and I've, the furthest I've been is about 35 meters, clear as crystal still. So that's pretty good. And that's with me back to the uh, GoPro and everything where the uh, receiver is. So very impressed with that. It has got other settings on there. You can put it. Um, you can put it in stereo mode, so you've got two separate channels for editing if you want to do that, or you can have them go into the one channel, which I normally do because I don't normally worry about the two channels. To update all these and to change the settings real easy, um, you've got to download Road Central from Road, um, and it's fairly basic and fairly simple to use. I'll just show you that here right now. Well, okay, like I said, you have to download the Road Central to access all the settings in the Wireless Go 2. So this is it right here in front of you. And as you can see, it's got the latest firmware version on there, which is 1.60. If you go into settings, it will bring this up. Now, there's a few buttons on here. You've got a record button. So if you lose the um, audio that is coming from your transmitter to the receiver, you can have it so it will back up on the transmitter. And that way, you can pull it out later on and put it in your film where it broke up. It's off there. It's got always. But in always, you can only um, have the broadcast quality as uncompressed. That will give you seven hours recording of audio recording. If you go to backup, you can change this and go to standard quality. And that will give you 42 plus hours remaining of recording. So if it drops out, you've got the actual recording on the um, Go transmitter that we're using. Now we've got pad here and pad on off. Pad on 
as I believe, when the mic is close to your mouth. You can turn pad on and it's not quite as sensitive. I've found this works better, especially when it's tucked away in your um, shirt or wherever it may be. In LEDs, bright or dim, so that's the LED lights on the transmitter. We have it on dim because if you've got it underneath your t-shirt, sometimes you can see through it. So, that's it there, the road central. You've got a couple other things up here, monitor out, uh, speakers, that's just for the um, computer here, the factory reset, and can change the appearance of the road central. That there is an audio recording that we've done of this actual film you are about to watch. Now this is only in um, standard quality. As you can see, you can skip through it. That's it there. That, um, that recording, you can delete it. The only problem is, at the moment, with all your recordings you've got over here on the left, you can only delete the whole lot at a time. So, you want to keep any of them, get them off the computer. You can get them off the computer quite fine. So, that is the Road Central. It is very easy to use. Just look up on the internet about some of the settings that may suit you. Okay, so that is the Road Central, a very easy program to use. Right, so Kim and I went to the Burnie Park. We thought we'd go up to the waterfall, have a little bit of a look around and to test these mics out. Because I mean, that's what we do. We get off the bikes, after riding, we get off the bikes, we walk around, have a look at places. So we get off the bikes here and I've got to go to the toilet before we start anywhere. Now, just notice in this clip, I disappear in the toilet and you can still hear me. Kim's probably 25 metres away from me, 30 metres away at times. She's not in line of sight, but I am in the toilet with me mic on and you can still hear me. Have a look at this. She's oh, able to hear me. Do you want me to come in with you? No, you're not coming in with me. Can you handle it? No. Here I we cannot. are on this beautiful windy day. We're at Burnie Park. There's the bikes up there. Oh. Just waiting for old Rusty to come out of the toilet. There's some pretty flowers over there. I don't know what they are. These are agapanthers. You there, That's are you? Are. I'm talking. Flowers. Talking, talking. See there? It's a playground up These here. These toilets are disgusting. There used to be animals in this park years ago. Okay. Here he comes. Where are you? Here he is. Okay, let's go. I've been filming. Have you? Let's go walkabouts. I was just telling them there used to be animals in this park. There used to be. Okay, so you could hear me quite clearly. Although Kim was talking over too, she didn't realise I was talking. But I was talking on purpose to see whether or not the go would, um, the road go would pick me up. And it did. So off we go, up the track. Okay, so we're up in the Burnie Park and we're testing out the Rode Wireless Go 2 and hooked up to the GoPro 9. We don't normally do that, but we are now, aren't we, sweetie? We're trying it out. Yeah, we're trying it out. Yep. See what it's like. At the moment, we have it hooked in here in the jacket. On the way back, we might change the position. Look at this. That is the beautiful Burnie Park. In the boat. Yeah. Is that not it? There's a beautiful woman in the beautiful oh, Burnie Park. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Things old Rusty's got to put up with, eh? What the hell's that? What? A spider or something? Oh, crap. Yeah, it's a crab. What? Try this. <laughs> <laughs> it's your relation. Uh, is it on. a tarantula? I don't know, they used to have there a tarantula. There it is over there. Yeah, it's a tarantula. crab, it's a lobster. Yeah. It's a lobster, babe. Yeah, it is. Yep. I don't know the significance of it, but oh, anyway, I don't know. it's a commemoration for you, babe. Oh, <laughs> geez, you're funny. Cracks me up sometimes, old Kimmy does. Yeah. But uh, there is a waterfall up here, isn't there, babe? Well, there used to be. I used to bring all my old girlfriends up here. He did. Didn't I, babe? Yep. Hey? Yeah. True. <laughs> True story. Nice little walk, not too far away from home, is it? It's when he used to be romantic. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Old Acre Falls, 340 metres. Can you handle that? Probably. Probably? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. It's fit as a fiddle today. Fit as a f What happened the other day then? <laughs> hey, that mic will pick you up breathing, so don't lie to me. I'm off my breath then. I should be oh, able to. Oh, look at you running. I'm not running. 
I'm just filming you. Why I'm would just you? saying because this should be picking you up quite fine. I'll just go ahead and see if it still picks you up. Someone else might pick me up if you get too far ahead. You don't have to yell now, babe, because you've got a mic on you. You don't have to yell because you've got a mic on you. Oh, yeah. You were yelling at me, though. I'm always yelling at you. But that should pick her up quite fine back there. If she decides to talk. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking. Is this water coming from the waterfall? Yeah, well, the water's got to be coming from somewhere. How far away are we? Well, we've come about 50 metres, so Gosh. I guess we've got 290 metres to go, what? haven't we? Hey? I can never remember that little bridge being there. Can you? No. Yeah, you can't come in from that way up through the park. All right. Yeah. There is a reason why we want to go over to this setup, is so it's nice and quick when you get off the bikes to hook up to the GoPro for a start, which it is. But when you get away, like we have in some of these clips, Kim is a bit hard to hear. That's amazing. You run ahead and then stop and film me lagging behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did. So that should fix the problem of that. Not that I know if I really want to hear Kim that clear, but anyway, we'll go with that anyway, won't we? Anyway, have a look at the rest of this clip going up towards the waterfall and see what you think. As you can see with those trees today, it is quite windy. It did snow here in Tassie last night, believe <laughs> it or not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not where we're living though, is it babe? No, up at the lakes. Yeah. So. We're hoping the Go Wireless um, mic, when we get out and about like this with our little adventures, and Kimmy starts lagging and lagging behind, as she does, <laughs> it's gonna pick her up swearing and cursing and, <laughs> yeah, bloody wait for me, and all this sort of shit. Yeah. In the boat. And that huffing and puffing, it's not huffing and puffing, that's the wind coming through my mic, because it's very strong wind. I don't think it is, babe. Hey? It is. <laughs> Beautiful area, isn't it? it? Really is. Just a nice little stroll up here in the boat. A leisurely stroll. Yeah. You're slowing down, boat. This is a fella that does 8,000 steps a day, probably more. And the rest. This one here. Yeah. I'm not very physical at work. <laughs> she meant to do it, not me. I wash a few cars every now and then. Yeah. I wonder what's out, babe. This is going out there. You better tell them how busy you are. <laughs> <laughs> as long as my bosses don't see it, <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm a hard worker. Don't get me wrong. That remains to be seen, but anyway. I can see the waterfall from here. There's Kimmy. Babe, do your step aerobics and go up there. Um, no, we don't have to. You can probably view. That comes in from up um, West Park Grove. You can oh, walk you can down. Yeah, you can walk down. All right, yep. Well, we're coming up to a little bit of a waterfall now, aren't we? I think she's back there struggling a bit. <laughs> Probably just heard me burp. Yeah. Sorry. I'll be able to, I can hear her mumbling, but I'll be able to pick that I up on film sorry. soon. Don't you worry. Here we go. I can't tell if it was a burp or a fart. What? I mean, I just burped. Uh, I think it was a burp. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you going in, Rusty? Oh, what the fuck's that? That's not a waterfall, babe. I don't know. Yeah. That's Big Bird. Come across here with me, sweetie. There's a tennis ball in there. Isn't it? Come across. What? Is that a tennis ball? Yeah. Do you want it? Do you want it? Yeah, I just want to see you get it. Some dog lost it. <laughs> what are your dogs you've had up here? I've never taken any dogs up here before, babe. Get ready. For what? Because I might go in here. <laughs> She's not exactly well balanced, is she? Um, Look at her. I'm balancing. Oh, uh, yeah? Yep. Oh, that's a wobbly one. That's a wobbly? Yep. That's like wobbly feet. I dare you to walk across there. Why? No, you just want to see me slide in. Go up the 
top and film it and see. No. no, go back now. Go on, go back, go back. <laughs> go back now. Come on. <laughs> Stop using your rookie moves. <laughs> Push! <laughs> Some, might, some people might say I pick on Kimmy, but she deserves it. You know, look at this, see what I mean? <laughs> She's about to pick up a bloody stick and whack me with that. I wasn't, I was okay. going to say go fetch. Go fetch, I'm not a dog babe. Okay then guys. Is my fluffy still, I'm, my fluffy still there? Yes it is. Oh, we're going to turn this off, I'm going to change the position of the mics, okay? So we'll be back with you in a sec. Must be a woman. What must be a woman? The GoPro. Why? I didn't want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> she said it, not me, guys. Well, keep going back, babe. You're right. <laughs> no, she's cool, mate. She's cool. Okay, so we've changed the position of the mics now. Can you guess where they are? Can, can't even can see. Guess? You can't see, can you? Because it's right down in there. Show down you. in there. Down in there. <laughs> <laughs> Show me yours yeah, is. Mine is two. Yeah, no, look. <laughs> I'll show you mine. <laughs> well, can you see? There's mine. I've got a strap to me. Yeah. On the way back, we decided to change the position of the, um, the transmitters. They were just pinned to our jackets here, our bike jackets. Then we changed it, as you've seen, to underneath our T-shirt. So you have a look at this audio and see what you think. That's me fitness tracker band that's on me. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> they know that's Let's a go, lie. babe. <laughs> right. We'll see how this works, eh? So yeah. they're just tucked away underneath us. Or you might get a bit of noise, you might not, I don't know. That wasn't a bad little walk. Yeah, it wasn't very far, was it? No, it's yeah. not very steep. Bit of exercise on a Sunday afternoon, she's yeah. cool. Before we start getting the elbow bending, yeah, bending. Before, oh well, bending that goes the without saying, don't it? Dare to jump across there. Well the No. No, I dare you. Well, I would, but no, my legs you... are not long enough. Oh, yeah, she would. <laughs> She's full of it too. The, oh. um, at least with these, when we're walking in the tracks, um, hopefully yeah. you won't need to um, talk as loud. Yeah. So if I see some good-looking bird coming up the track yeah. there, I can say, look, Kim, you see that, Kim? And the good-looking bird, she won't even see it. No, she won't even hear, hear me no. say it, will you? No. And then when she goes past and I go, Oh, you see that, babe? Yeah. Then I get yeah. on the back of the head. I was about head. to do that. <laughs> yeah. But it'll be all silent because yeah. we don't have to say, Kim, can you hear me? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we don't have to do that no more, do we? Nope. Well, we don't think we do. And if you can't hear me. If you can't hear you, I'll tell you what, if you can't hear her. You'll think something's wrong. You're probably two kilometres away. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Could you be like hear her coming from a mile away? No, but doesn't this little thing record if you lose your blind yes. sight? Yes, that is. I will go into that. Yes. Yeah. I will go into that. What she, the, the dribble she was just saying. <laughs> it's true. Though. I'll go into that. Um, a bit of the facts. If we do lose connection like this while we're walking along, and the these are the transmitters, the receivers on the GoPro. If we lose connection. The receiver, no, the transmitter is actually recording our voice anyway. So I can actually um, download it off the receiver and put it in the film anyway if it breaks up. Yeah. Yeah. But I will go into the specs of that a little bit more. Go across the bridge, babe. Yeah. We'll go down through this way. I think it's only madness, really. What? Why would you want? Why would you want to record my voice? Yeah. Well, uh, it makes so me wonder sometimes. You can listen to it long after I'm gone. But this is the Burnie Park in Tasmania. Obviously in Burnie. In Burnie. Although, it might not be. Well, We've got the Burnie Airport in Wynyard. Yes. Yes. We don't know where we are. Yeah. We're going to have to be very careful coming through here because there is kids through here in a playground, so I won't go recording then. No, it won't be like when we were at, um, where were we? Mount Gambier or somewhere? No, we, we weren't. No, we were at, what happened was, we were at Victor Harbour, Victor right? Harbour, yeah. And funny, it is funny actually. And I always said, Ken, sun's starting to go down. We've had a few to drink. Well, I hadn't been out to tea yet, had a few to drink. And I say, we'll go for a romantic walk along the beach. Going to be a beautiful sunset it was. So if we trot, I said, here, can in each pocket each. When we get down there, we'll have a, have a can. 
Yeah, so that's what we did. So we're walking along the beach and Kim's saying, we might get in trouble. I said, yeah, well, we probably will. If we get caught, we'll, we'll get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. But the interesting thing about that was... We found a track. We, we found a track off the beach. We walked along the beach. We come up. And I, I come up through the track before Kim and I said... I got up the top. Kim's still behind me, not there yet. I said, if you think we're in fucking trouble on the beach with a, with a stubby, you wait till you get up the top here. And she said, why? <laughs> I said... We're in a fucking kids' playground with open alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we yeah. continued on our very way anyway. Oh, we continued on, yeah, it was on dusk, yeah. wasn't it? No, there was no kids there, it was um, on dusk, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, the sun was going down. Hopefully, we got some audio there. What do you reckon? Yep. Probably a bit of heavy breathing from Russell. Yeah, and just remember, yeah. guys, it is fairly windy today, too. We were sheltered going up through to the. Um, Waterfall there, if you want to call it a waterfall. Um, oh, look at the little motorbike. Do you right. want to ride it? The, the little sidecar one. You'd have to hop in the sidecar, sweetie. Yeah. No, I don't want to ride it. Ah, OK. You could pretend you're on a sports bike with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can see there with Kim's hair, the wind is rushing through here. It is about 30, 40 kilometres an hour today, the wind, so it'll be a good test for the mics, won't it? Yeah. No, then. So, where are you coming Show out? Show them the ocean over there. That's the ocean over there, yeah. In between the two shitters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty here, shitter what time? Oh, oh you're God. funny. Yeah. Do you need to go to it, little girl? No. Okay. I think I can hold my bladder for 20 minutes. But our bikes are up over here. Yep, they're right where we left them. It is beautiful. Actually, my, my son looks after these grounds here. He does a good job, doesn't he? Josh. And, yes, but... He's mainly over there in the West Park over where they play footy and cricket. He works at the council. He's one of them council bludgers, babe. Yeah, holding the shovels up. Yeah. But there's the beasts right there, aren't they, sweetie? The other beast is there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going now, aren't we, babe? Yep. Back on the bikes. Back home. We're at Rusty Tractor Tantrum up there because he can play on the swings. Yeah. No, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Actually, guys, it wasn't me, it was her. She seen that little motorbike there, she wanted it. I had to turn the camera off. She carried on that bloody uh, much. <laughs> still wiping the tears yeah, out of my yeah. eyes. Yeah. Hey, guys, bye. Bye. Well, to me, that sounds like pretty good damn audio, doesn't it? Although, I could have probably turned the decibels down a little bit, a little bit squelchy in a couple of places, but we'll play with that. It has got a good range where you can adjust that. Um, even though under the shirt I think it was quite fine, you could hear our jacket rustling a bit, but I'll tell you, if we're off the bikes walking on a warm day, we're not going to be wearing our jackets, it's only going to be here. Now the reason why um, we clipped that on just like that, with the little furry thing on top under our t-shirt was for ease and for quickness. When you get off the bike, you don't want to be mucking around too long, just bang, clip it on and away you go. You can hook up lapel mics to this. It has a 3.5mm um, slot for a lapel mic. You can put that in your pocket and just run the cord up through a lapel mic if you want. But to me, I'd rather try and use it, experiment with it just like this, for when you get off the bikes, because of the ease of it, you don't have to worry about untangling cords, hooking it up underneath and everything. So we're gonna go with that and just see how we go for the next few months. But I think we're on a winner there, aren't we, guys? Let me know what you think, or if you have used these before. We have used the Go before, um, but this system here with the two transmitters to the um, one receiver are brilliant. And the Rave reviews on them at the moment is really good. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think or if we could change it to suit you better and um, we'll endeavour to improve all the time. Okay guys, bye.